Well, Lovell Telescope's, um, I mean, it's the, still the third biggest steerable telescope in the world, so it's a really almost unique instrument. When it was built more than 60 years ago, now it was, it was the world's biggest telescope. In all the sort of uh, music events we've had at Jodrell, we've always had a tradition of featuring the telescope as a, you know, it's the iconic part of the site, towers over everything else that's happening there. So illuminating that's always been a big thing. Um, at the first Blue Dot, we had this uh, amazing sort of generative artwork from uh, Brian Eno, which involved um, thousands and thousands of images, which sort of gradually morphed into each other. And then last year, we had an incredible uh, installation which linked directly to our own science so we were we were actually picking up uh, signals from space with the telescope live during the event from the sort of point on the earth directly above us and, uh, and Dato Manabe this uh, Japanese artist uh, sort of worked with us to translate that science data into both a, a sort of visual wrap around the telescope and an audio installation. I was really excited when I heard that Marcus was going to uh, do an installation based around this concept of a megastructure because it's got it's got sort of two way I see it is it's got sort of two themes and one is that the telescope itself is a is a megastructure but he's also referencing this you know really quite interesting bit of science that's been you know it's been a hot topic in the last few years. There was a, an article which was talking about Tabby Star and the people doing radio astronomy were speculating about whether there was this huge alien megastructure like some sort of construction floating in front of a star and that maybe this was the source of all this uh, these patterns that they were picking up and you know I don't know I've got no idea whether that's really the case I think but just it just the thought of it's very inspiring the thought of this sort of huge thing floating in outer space somehow blocking out the light from a from a star and it's it's kind of like what this telescope is it feels like a kind of almost a, a piece of alien architecture or it's it's very sort of on this very sort of superhuman scale and so i thought this would be a really fun thing that it would be like here's this huge structure emanating off this signal that's being broadcast out to, well I guess rather than the whole universe, certainly the surrounding area. If it was a, um, a sort of alien structure transmitting that you could really see that that's what it was doing. Usually during the headline set it starts to get dark and that's the time you'll start to see the light building on the telescope but then we'll keep running it after the headline is finished and head on into the early hours so people can enjoy the, enjoy the spectacle.